advocate for policies that center the need. If we don't do something now, things are not going to change. We'll give a little and we take back. Our kids are not a topic I wish to negotiate on. Their safety is the most important thing as a parent. We are here on Capitol Hill with parents and advocates from KIPP regions and charter schools across the country because we know that parent voice is essential to making good policy that truly centers the needs and aspirations of all kids. Our intention is to ensure that members of Congress and their staff understand the perspectives of our parents and our families and what they're going through, particularly to elevate the ways that the issue of student well-being affects them and their children and the kinds of solutions that they'd like to see for those issues. The safety of our children, period, is important. Whether that's safety in school, safety traveling to school, safety on the bus, because ultimately, if my child does not feel safe at school, they are not going to perform to their best ability, which creates a new struggle in their lives. If we drop the ball when it comes to safety, we drop the ball when it comes to mental health. If we drop the ball when it comes to mental health, we drop the ball when it comes to safety. It's very important for them to hear from, from parents because we see what is happening out there. And they have the power to take the decisions they, they need to make to change. They need to figure what's the best way, how can they protect the families in the whole country. Because something needs to be done. I know that we have a big problem, but big problems need big actions. As we think about the KIPP mission and the desire to have a more just world, we are thinking about that in an expansive way. So knowing that not only is it additional funding for charter schools and additional funding for the Title I program, but also thinking about students' well-being and the things that need to be true in order for them to thrive and succeed in the classroom and in life. As a parent, you are the advocate for the little mind that you've created and brought in this world. That is exactly why the time is now. It's not going to change without our intervention. Because as long as we talk about it and we fight for their rights, we can truly make a change.